is Taryn Packer and I'm a simulation support specialist here at Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about putting curves into SolidWorks simulation, whether that's flow simulation or finite element analysis or whatever, from instead of having the raw data to put the curves in, all you have is a plot that you get from some scientific literature document. In these sorts of documents, they usually don't put in actual raw data, like in this Atlas of Fatigue Curves document, they just give this plot where they, they give a, a plot of the life cycles versus the stress for aluminum alloy 7075T6. So what you want to do is you want to actually take a picture of these plots from these PDF documents. So I just took a screenshot of this plot and I made it into a PNG file and then next you have to have a plot digitizer type program to use. So if you look on the comment section below you'll see a plot digitizer link that you can go to and actually get a free plot digitizer tool, the same one that I'm using here. So once you have the plot you want to go to your digitizer tool and click File, Open, and then click on the picture, the screenshot that you just took, and it pulls it into the digitizer. Now all you need to do is follow the directions on the bottom. Right now it says choose most negative end of x-axis. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and click on this most negative end, and then it asks what's the value for this negative end. I'm going to say logarithmic axis scale because my x-axis is logarithmic. I'm going to put in a thousand. Press OK to that. Now it's asking for the y minimum, which is zero, and it's non-logarithmic. Press OK to that. Now it wants the most positive x-axis. So I'm going to choose the most positive x-axis, and it stays logarithmic. And I put that value in then it shows those values there on the x-axis. Now it wants the most positive y-axis, so I choose the most positive y-axis, and I put that value in. Press OK. Now you need to name the x and the y-axis. I'm going to call it cycles to failure. Press OK to that. And for my y-axis, that's going to be my stress. I always like to put the units as much as possible, so it's going to be in megapascals. Press OK to that. Now it wants me to actually digitize the plot. So all you need to do now is click on the line. For every click, you get a yellow plus mark. And for each of those plus marks, that's one data point. So the more clicks you have, the more data points you are going to obtain. You just click along the line until you get the data that you want. At this point, all you need to do is click this Done option. And you get a nice raw data table with uh, your Y and your X axis. You can uh, highlight everything, press Control-C to copy it. Go back into SOLIDWORKS at this point. Now I've already got a fatigue study started and if I edit my fatigue data you'll see I'm on 7075 T6 uh, aluminum. So it's the exact same aluminum in the program as I just copied. And what I want to do is I'm going to start a new curve and I'm going to copy my data into this new curve and I want to compare my new curve to my old curve. Okay, so with my old curve, I've got 7,000 equals 318 megapascals. With my new curve, I've got 7,014 equals 313 megapascals. It's pretty close, not the best in the world. It's a few megapascals off, but considering that I got this off of a graph that wasn't super great, that's pretty good. Now at the bottom, I've got 38 million, goes to 132 megapascals for my plot 2. 
my plot one, 40 million is at 135 megapascals. So all in all, pretty close to what SolidWorks already had in here for this specific material type as co compared to my plot digitization. So it is a very good tool when you don't have actual raw data and you can just digitize the plots that you find in the scientific literature, get the raw data, pull it into SolidWorks, apply the curves, uh, whether that's fan curves in flow simulation, stress strain curves in simulation, fatigue curves like you see here, any sort of curve from any sort of plot will, will, will do. It will make your life a lot easier as you're doing these simulations and finding these curves. My name's Taryn Packer. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit from it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.